I know a lot of comments have been made about um, if we're catching a ball, if we're, if, uh, if we're, you know, and, and all those different things. And I, and I respect that. Um, as receivers, you go out and you expect to make every play. And uh, whether it's on contact or not, and so much of it is uh, uh, timing. And, and uh, I think a lot, of, a lot of people don't realize, I mean, this is a brand new offensive system, and I don't ever make excuses. You want to blame somebody, blame me. Uh, and I always say players win games, coaches lose them. But uh, you got a new offensive system. You have uh, a quarterback who's only in his fifth game. Uh, you have Cody who hasn't practiced really all summer and just really getting into shape now. Um, Ross has been injured. None of those are excuses. I mean, we just got to play better. You know, if anybody wants a solution to it, I, I'll tell you it's plain and simple. We got to play better. We'll keep working harder, and we'll work with a purpose to get better. And uh, I'm definitely not going to run from the responsibility of it, and uh, I don't think my players will. Has there been extra work with the jugs machine? I, I, I mean, just how, how do you fix the drop specifically? Um, I, I think you do two things. One, you have to work with uh, catching on contact. The second thing that you, you have to do, jugs are great, and we do use jugs, but it's all about throwing and catching from the quarterback and the, the type of ball he throws and the ball placement. And it's so many things that come into play. Uh, and a lot of it, uh, for instance, Scholar Ridley's drop, it was all about timing. Uh, the ball was there, and um, before he even got out the cut, you know, and that's all timing. So we're working that. And that, it, it will come. It will come, and, it, you know, we think it's going to come Saturday. You know, I mean, it's all, uh, it's my responsibility to make sure that that happens and we'll, we'll get that taken care of. Coach, you mentioned timing, um, but in terms of timing and, and work, is a lot of, because a lot of receivers are coming in, the rotation of receivers and, and maybe because they go fast, go hard, getting more receivers more time and opportunity to play. Um, is, it, is it more just that or is it more just the fact that you're trying to get time with two different receivers with, with a single quarterback and that's allowing not, that catch not to maybe get this, quite as solidified? I mean, I, th I think that's a fair question, but in all reality, uh, we play about four guys. Um, and this past week, we really only played three guys as far as outside guys. Uh, and that, that's my, my main focus. Uh, um, Coach and I works with the inside guys as well as I do. Um, so it's it's more about, you know, I, I could say, well, the timing aspect of it is, uh, you know, maybe we're playing too many guys. I, I think those are all excuses. The timing aspect of it is uh, Taysom is new. Uh, and I, Taysom is a freshman quarterback, you know, and people don't realize that. So it, it all comes through, through repetition, and that's what we're trying to do. I, I think you will see the offense in the passing game improve. Nobody's more disappointed in the passing game than I am. You know, no fan is even close to being as disappointed as I am. And uh, it's my responsibility to fix it, and I'll get it fixed. After Virginia, Coach and I and Coach Uche kind of switched up the offensive line to find the best guys at their specific positions and went based on their evaluations. As a receivers coach, have you taken a similar approach to that and say maybe we should move certain guys around in different positions and based upon the teams we're playing, maybe based upon the formations or plays that are being called? You know, we're doing some different things personnel-wise to try to take advantage of mismatches. Um, you know, but if somebody tells me we're going to sit Cody Hoffman or uh, we, I'd say they're insane. I mean, uh, Mitch Matthews caught three for 54, uh, but we run 90 plays. There's not a receiver in the NFL that runs 90 plays. So uh, the bottom line is we, we all just have to step up, whether it's uh, Cody, whether it's Mitch, whether it's Ross Apoe, whether it's Skylar Ridley, uh, Kurt Henderson, J.D., um, Taryn Houck, we all just had to play better. And I think we know that as a unit, and we're going to do that. You know, you coached a lot of places. Does this feel like any more intense of a community as far as the lows, the highs, when you interact with people no. outside football? No, I, everybody wants to win. Every place I've worked wants to win. Uh, obviously, uh, the social media here is a, uh, as intense as a Southeastern Conference school. and. And um, hey, everybody's got an opinion, and that's why they're great fans. So, no, I mean, I'm not, I'm not ashamed of or, or intimidated by this, the scrutiny. That's, that's what I expect. And, and um, you know, when they praise, if, if they want to praise me, I'm not the one to praise. Praise the players. I'm, I'm here to take the criticism. Uh, and when we win games, it'll be because of our players. It won't be because of us. So that's, that's just the bottom line. So, no, I mean, I, I, I welcome the criticism. You know, and I also welcome anybody that wants to walk out and 
and uh, they think they can do it better than I can. I respect that. I mean, that's their opinion. But heck, I think I've had six knee surgeries. I think I could do it better than one doctor that did surgery on me. So that's my opinion. But uh, no, I really appreciate it. And it's not a problem whatsoever. Coach and I made a comment about extreme highs, extreme lows. And of course, some of that's results. But has that felt like a practice problem as well? Well, I think what happens, we're a young football team. One offense, I mean, in a new system. So, um, and we haven't experienced a lot of success uh, offensively in the last couple of years. Let, I mean, let's be honest. Let's let's call a, a, a spade a spade. I mean, we haven't. And so, when you do that, there's a natural feeling when things aren't going great that uh, that players generally may think, "Well, here we go." You know, and our job as coaches is to keep grinding and to keep pushing. And I think you saw Texas things went good, and then it's like, oh my God, things are going good, so you ride the high. So it's it's all about consistency and learning to be consistent. And that comes with maturity, and that comes with uh, with just playing together. And and I mean, we're in a new system, you know. Uh, you don't wake up a lot of times, and it just happens overnight. So it's all about uh, it's all about being consistent. It's all about staying on our grind. It's all about you know getting better, and and uh, you know. I don't, like I said, I don't mind the criticism. And uh, I know once we turn it around, all the criticism will turn to praise. And that's OK, too. And uh, I look at that just the same. It's all, um, you know, we'll just keep doing what we do, and we'll get better. I believe in what we do. And I, I think that's the biggest thing. I can sit and look at every coach and say, hey, I believe in what we do. I believe we're going to be a good football team. And I hope every fan will take time and, and believe it also. And I think that's the key. I'm not quitting. You know, I'm going to keep pressing on, and I know these players are going to keep pressing on. In the end, we're going to be a good football team. We're going to be a good offense.